Hello guys and welcome back to my SimCity 4 Let's Play. This is episode 26 and as you can see I've done a bit of work on the airport. Uh, yeah, I've uh, mostly completed the ramp area here with uh, some markings. I hope these are somewhat realistic because as I said in the last episode I know next to nothing about airplane design and, and runway design and everything. So yeah, I couldn't find a T piece for this so I decided to do it like this. Not sure how uh, realistic it is. Same here, something. This this curve I should probably change so that this area is ramp and not uh, the turf. Other than that, I have this small apron area here with some uh, rescue planes for the for the region. A few smaller planes for in uh, you drive it mode, and of course a few planes here and this guy. Not sure why I have this guy actually. No, ah, okay. Other than that, um, I did want to try out something. Someone told me that I could plop um, airplanes, so apparently you can. So you have Airbus A300 and Airbus A300. So let's see where shall I plop this? Maybe over here. Hmm. Trans Australia. Can I plop another one? I can, but not like this. Okay. Hmm. Let's redo this part. <laughs> that wasn't what I was trying to do. Oh no, I have to scroll all the way back. Oh man. I tell you, once I finish this airport, my 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 fingers will be destroyed because of all the scrolling. Man, I will get infections and everything. <laughs> uh, nope, it's the wrong way around. I will get infections and carpal tunnel disorder and everything. Be just because of scrolling through this entire uh, list of airport lots. Because they're so... They're pretty much everywhere around, so probably I should try to, yeah, like this. Okay, not gonna have one there. Let's try this guy. Okay. Hmm, okay. I can live with that. Well, that's a, that's an Iranian, isn't it? Oh. Uh, at least this time I won't have to scroll, I think. Yeah. Cool. Just like this? Yeah. Okay, which one do I want? Yeah, I want. I kind of want that one, but in the other way around. Um, why? Yeah. Well, that's okay. I guess he's trying to. It's probably a bit of, of a big airplane for this airport. I don't think it would have uh, space for it, but that works. Uh, I placed some uh, some manual or some uh, walking uh, for for very small or business airplanes here, as you can see here. I'm kind of thinking I will install some mods for these uh, these liveries because the Maxis guys, the Maxis ones just look so ugly. Man, look at it! Look at it! <laughs> Ooh, I don't like it. Okay, let's see what we have. Cool. So what I wanted to do uh, was build the 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 industrial hub or whatever it is, the the freight or the cargo bay over here. But that'll be for. Later on, I think, for now, I'm happy with how this looks. Of course, we still need to fill in this gap here. I don't even know if there's a lot that f that fills that in. Let's scroll down the menu. Uh, what's this? Mm, four prop gate. Does this work? No, no, that's the gate on itself. That's not what we want. Um, regional jet parking? No. Oh, we still, we should probably... Uh, Build some of those. Okay, so we don't really have anything of this. Uh, a VOR checkpoint. I guess this goes somewhat close to the the runways. I have no idea to be honest. Oh, oh wow! It's it's set on aprons. Okay, um, let's build one on the aprons here then. <laughs> I guess. Sure. Uh, I'm s I'm thinking this is supposed to point north. Right now it points um, northeast. Okay. <laughs> Right, uh, this is compass, I look... Whoa, 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 what? Oh, that's compass, okay. And this is for these kind of... these guys, it seems. I wonder if you really just have to plop it, like, here or something. I mean, it does fit in, but I, <laughs> I have no idea if that's the... if that's what it's supposed to be like. Okay, what's this? Uh, text rate, right. Okay, yeah, we could play some signs. Taxiway left and right, yeah. Oh, wait, are these? Yeah. These these signs are pretty much already placed, aren't they? It's like like this then? Yeah, it sure is. Well, maybe if we place it a little bit further, like here, then it can be like a warning that you can uh, go over there. Um. Oh, diagonal. Yeah, diagonal text way left. Yeah, that's what we want. 
diagonal text. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> no, not that way. I thought it, it would uh, indicate that there was a diagonal run uh, taxiway over there, but it's a diagonal sign, okay. Same here, pretty much, isn't there? Yeah. Could have one over here. And I guess one over here, too. Yeah, okay. So these are, these are some signs. Then what's this? Identifies the taxiways to passing air aircraft. Uh, don't really want to bother with that right now. No, no. should be all right. Uh, I will fill this in with turf and then see uh, how it looks. See ya. Well, this is it. I've uh, filled in the uh, the remaining space with uh, turf and also filled in the apron over here with uh, the smaller planes. I think this side looks pretty good. You might ask why this here. Well, that's because apparently there's no lot uh, for a runway, uh, a taxiway T intersection with apron on one side and. Um, with um what is this ah, i can't remember ramp ramp on this side and turf on this side there's no not even a piece with a ramp on both sides so i had to do this which looks strange but okay maybe i wonder uh it wouldn't be very safe to do such things in real life but what if uh there was like a big rock here nope not gonna work uh, can we plant a tree on there? That would be pretty cool, so... Hmm. Well, ah, okay. Not the kind of tree that I really wanted there, but okay. I can live with it. <laughs> so apparently they had to save that one tree there. And uh, maybe I'll change it later. Especially because, like m many people said, uh, this runway is really short. Um, it's hard to, to, to know the scale. But apparently if you would um, do a real-life runway in SimCity, uh, from scale, it would actually have to be about almost the size of a large city tile, which is, well, it would at least have to be the size of this medium city tile. It has to be at least, uh, I think, two kilometers or something. But I will definitely extend it later, but not for now though, because I'm pretty happy with how it looks. Uh, I think the next step is actually connecting some uh, road to it and also this railway over here, some way, in some way, connect to it. I'll uh, connect to this road here. Oh, also I placed these fences around it, which are in the park menu. Didn't really expect them to be there, but okay, they are. They are part of this airport set, actually. Um, they don't really look high enough to, to prevent people from jumping over or anything, but okay. Um, yeah, we also have to fix this uh, someday. Um, I just haven't found a plane that fits in there, so we'll have to do some searching on that. Okay, I'll get to work. Uh, what do we have? So we have a TLA uh, TLA five, I think. Yeah, and we could just extend it, of course. Now, where will this end up if we extend it just straight on? Perfectly. Wow, that that's that's pretty amazing. Wow, that fits. Oh wow, <laughs> that's amazing. Didn't I, I? I actually, you may say, wow, well, you just planned it to be like that. No, <laughs> it just happened to be this way. Uh, that's uh, that's pretty perfect. Though. Maybe if we can smooth this transition out a little with the with the rail, okay, that's somewhat smoothened out. Maybe we can smoothen it out a bit more if we use, um, if we use, yeah, L rail maybe. Nah, that didn't really do much. Okay, cool. I like this L rail mod, by the way. Um, now I don't really want to. Oh, uh, you might have made my heard my mic make some sound there. Excuse me. Uh, I bumped into it. <laughs> uh, what if we do it like this? Well, of course, yeah. <laughs> Not like that, of course. Like this. And then we could have it. Oh, wow, that, that fits in perfectly as well. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. Uh, we could have it deconvert here, though. Here, though. Uh, where are these? Yeah, these. Is there like a TLA5? Uh, MA4 to TLA5 transition, okay, that's pretty much what I wanted here. Now to have it fit in, okay, cool. So that, uh, you mean, r I mean, right here th th there won't be as much traffic anymore. And eventually we'll have to dig a tunnel under it to, to connect to the business and the the, the freight uh, cargo bay there, but not for now. But that's something for later, I mean. It's always cool to have something left to do. Uh, finishing pro 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 projects is cool and you can't just leave er every project unfinished. But it's also cool if you know you still have something to do. And that way, I mean, if I do the, the, the business and the cargo bay now, then 
it will be finished and when people have cool suggestions for it I won't be able to, to implement them as easily while if I leave it like this for now just empty then people can do suggestions based on what I did here and what I can do differently and then I can implement them over there and then we can see the, the evolution in uh, in building style uh, this this corner is awfully it's awfully sharp are there there probably aren't any smooth curves for TLA oh there are mm. not for TLA 5 though I think nah just 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 the smaller ones okay uh, we'll have to live with it uh, right here I guess we could do pet malls so the pedestrian mall tiles well these fit in with these they do. Hmm. Did that pull change? Oh wait, yeah, that's that's because of my. Uh, I remember there was a way to to remove the pull, but I don't remember it right now. Bad footbridge. We could probably use one of those as well eventually. Maybe. Oh yeah, we. I I want to use them. They're 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 pretty cool uh, bats, but they never ever ever get used as far as I know. <laughs> um, would kind of be cool to have maybe some commercials. Oh, that doesn't make the thing zoned. Like, what if we do it like this? Put some zones over here. That's because it's not one one tile, of course. Yeah. And if we then plop the pet malls over it, sometimes the game will con still consider it. Yeah, see, the game will still consider it uh, a commercial tile, and then you can. Then it doesn't uh, remove the 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 markings on the side, so that's cool. Do we have some big box stores here of, as well? Yeah, oh, also, uh, Christmas is coming cro close. I mean, I'm sure all of you know that. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, that's so that's cool. Um, that also means, of course, that my uh, January exams are also coming pretty close. So I've been busy. You might have noticed because I don't think there's ever been a gap, uh, such a long gap between episodes. Um, I'm sorry, but I'm sure you understand. I mean, it's a, it's a busy it's a busy time because we also have a lot of projects that we have to finish and hand in and everything on, and on uni. So it's it's a busy time and it's it's not always possible to to make daily daily updates certainly not daily updates. Uh, are these guys going to grow? They probably will. Yeah. What's this? A leaning ad plaza. Okay. Now we also have to think about that that rail station. We could probably fit it in here if we use some uh, trickery. Uh, or we could fit it in here, of course. Yeah, and then we can use the pad mall. Hmm. There's probably no pad malls to to cross TLA five though. I should check. Probably not. Um, I do kind of want to be a kind of want it to be. Excuse me. A pretty. Um, oh, hmm. I was going for a pretty uh, modern train station. Well, this this looks kind of modern. I guess it does. Uh, could probably can't place it in here. Well, we could, but uh, it wouldn't be very practical. I think. Nah, it wouldn't be. Maybe if we do it like this. Of course, that means that this is a true station, though, and we don't really want it to be a true station. We want it to be a, a, tr uh, a terminus, so maybe we have a different station that we can use that is actually a terminus. I uh, should probably look into some other train stations then. Yeah, this is a monorail station. No. Uh, what else do we have? Clock tower. This is also a true station. Yeah. This is passenger train. It's also a true station. I think the other one, this one here is, uh, nope, also a true station. Okay, so let's continue searching. What else do we have? The Amsterdam Central Station. No, oh, it's not even built. Uh, it's a true station too, so. Uh, well, this, uh, this of course is a, oh wow, oh, it's so big. Is it the version I made? I don't think so. Nope. Oh, well, I, I made a, a, a real auto version of it. Always thought it looked cool. Uh, this I think is a this is a true station. No, it's not. Hmm, that is an awfully big station, though. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's that's huge. Wow. <laughs> that's pretty amazing. Uh, it's it's certainly. I mean, yeah, it, it it's too big, so we won't use that. I think we may opt for this one, and maybe I will. I might do some uh, reloading on it so that it looks more like a. a, a a terminus station. This one is a terminus as well, don't you? Yeah, yeah, this one is. It's awfully big, of course. <laughs> it would be the biggest station we have. Good place like here or something? How does that look? Ooh, pretty amazing, yeah. Ooh, this is one of my reloads too. That's a very old reload I made, yeah. 
Wow, I didn't even know that I had this one in my plugins folder. Cool. That actually looks pretty cool. Yeah, and we have car access through here, and then we can have a lot of rails over here. Uh, let's let's get to the rails first. Actually, yeah, um, I never released this a lot, by the way, so there won't be any links or anything. This is just uh, I think the station was made by Il Tungso a while ago by now, and there was a, a time when I, where I did a lot of uh, relotting, especially on stations. So I have a lot of relots. I think this one is relotted as well. Yeah. So it's actually smaller. Hmm. I'm not sure if it looks as good though. Yeah, and it doesn't work with the cars over there because I kind of wanted it to be uh, to have bad malls over there, so that doesn't work. Do I have a different? Because there's three versions. It's probably the same. Yeah. It's a good thing we have the BSC um, funding mod on, so we don't actually lose any money from funding uh, because of that mod. Otherwise, I wouldn't just be building all these stations and then destroying them. Uh, what else do we have? No, I already checked those. Yeah, all the rest is just bridges and everything. So okay, we'll we'll go for this one. I mean, right now it looks a bit over the top, and it is <laughs> really, it is really over the top. But eventually, when the the region and the airport itself grow, it will. It won't look as out of place. I hope. So we have this, and then we can also have one over here. Like this, try to make it look somewhat symmetrical. Of course, that's not entirely possible. Could do something like this. Looks a bit strange with the the markings on the inside. Wh why is this one not working? Why does this not want to? Is is the yeah? It's probably the ground that is not level over there. That's probably it. Uh, let's level it out. No, I wonder what the problem was. Okay, level level. Okay, should be level enough now. And let's get back to building. Oh wow, I almost had a CTD there, I think. That was really close. Oh no. Actually, maybe I should just save before I do this, because the chances of having a CTD when building puzzle pieces so close to a station are pretty big. That's, uh, it's too bad they never got around to fixing that. It was it was pretty much the biggest bug, and it still is the biggest bug in SimCity, I think. All the other bugs we can work around, but that one is just, yeah, annoying. Okay, go. come on, no, yeah, 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 okay, so that was the problem after all. Okay, and now we, oh yeah, uh, let's use, no, Alt R, no, that's Street, Shift R, that's Motorways, Control R, oh no, it's T, T for Rail, yeah. Uh, I always try to use R for Rail, but it's T for Train, I guess. So these are all connected, that's cool. Now we have these guys. Um, I wonder what can we do with that. Do, do. We could just do it like this, of course. Have them come in like this. No, why doesn't it work on this side? It doesn't want to work, yeah, okay. Uh, no. Like this, yeah, cool. Ooh, big station, big station. And then, hmm. We could have like one curve this way, and then have the other come in somehow. Hmm, doubt that's possible though. Uh, what if we do it like this? Nah, that's probably not gonna work out, is it? How about what else do we have available? We have the this guy. If we place it this close, it will probably interfere, won't it? Yeah. Um, still thinking here. Of course, what we could do is we could. What's this? This is the no, no, not the guy I need. Actually, wait, wait maybe it is. Um, it's pr there's probably not enough place for this though, is there? Ooh, hmm. I guess there might be enough place for this after all. Now all I need is a 45 degree curve. Ooh, yeah. Oh wow, that looks amazing. Ha! Huh. Yeah, I like that. And now we have to connect it over here. Uh, how far is that away? It's too close, of course. Hmm. <laughs> right. Should have expected that. Um, could just have a 45 degree rail curve over here. Uh, over here. Yeah. Oh yeah, let's turn off the grid for once. Uh, we're not really 
You don't really need it right now. And then maybe use some far curves. Been a while. No, that's a bit too wide. It's probably not going to cut it though, is it? Nah, that's not going to cut it, is it? Uh, no, no way, no way that's going to cut it. I guess another option is to use the 90 degree curves, but those are big. Nope. <laughs> the curve alone is bigger than the difference we have to, to take. So the only really op big option is the, the 45 degree curve. I guess we'll use it. Uh, will it be like this or like this? I think that will work. Yeah, it does. Perfect. Now here, ooh, look at that. Wow, amazing. Okay, let's have a quick save here. Oh, for those of you who don't know, quick save is Control alt s and normal save is Control s and quick save actually is a lot faster because the game doesn't uh, save new thumbnails in the region view. It only saves uh, the game data, uh, which is a lot quicker. Now we wanted to use the pad models, didn't we? Yeah. I doubt this will work with the with this kind of avenue, but we'll have to find a, a workaround around because of that. Where are these there? I've ever actually never seen anyone use them, and they're so cool. Look at them. It's like uh, some sort of lift or a stairway. It's a lift, yeah. I mean, it looks very uh, airport-ish, doesn't it? It does. Okay. Oh yeah, we need the the overroad pieces, don't we? We sure do. I wonder. Well, that looks kind of crappy. It does. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Um, we could just convert these into avenue for that part, which will look a bit odd still, but okay. Where's the F transition? That's an F4 to F2 transition. MAF4 to... MAF6 to F4. MAF6 Mav six to TLA5. TLA5 to avenue 4. Yeah, that's what the guy we need. Then here... I guess it's not that uncommon to see things like this in real life. I don't know. Nope. Ah, it's always hard to place in, in these small sections. And then connect these guys with the avenue piece. I kind of hope there will be... Yeah, there's no... There's nothing around. Oh, oh wow. Um, I accidentally pre pre pressed the help button. So the, the Windows 8 help center came on like this. Oh, that will work. Probably no one using it. No. no okay, but I think uh, we're kind of running out of time here. I still have some uh, things to do before class today. Starts at uh, 1 p.m. and it's 10 p.m. Uh, at 1 p.m. and it's 10 a.m. right now. Uh, let's give a quick overview of our uh, progress here. I think uh, we did a lot of things this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it, and see you next time.